All right, Nona. All right, Andrew. We are back for episode four. I've got Rick Tilapia texting me that he'll be here at one thirty. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. Yes, thank you, Rick. Get rid of all the bugs. Yes, preempt them. Instead of waiting until after they've overrun the house. Here in the South, they like to call cockroaches water bugs. They're cockroaches. There's no other way around it. I've always called them roaches. Yeah. I just smart leave the cock people. out of it. Smart people do. You can't take the cock out of anything. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> so... <coughs> This is episode four of the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. I'm still wearing my headphones because I'm an idiot. Go ahead and apologize for having hay fever as well. Yeah. It's going away. I felt better. It um, took a little dose of medicine, and now I don't feel as miserable. I don't feel as congested right now, but I have a cough drop just in case. Just in case to keep me from coughing and wheezing and sounding like A smoker. But I'm not a smoker. So anyways, Anyways. um, we've got some great topics for today. You guys actually missed out. Maybe we'll do like a blooper or something on, uh, (laughs) it'll go up on Patreon because uh, Nona inflicted some pain on me and you guys missed it because the episode dropped. I was using the AV1 encoder and for whatever reason, it decided that Fuck Andrew. So Fuck Andrew. Yep. So here we are again. I'm back to the NVENC encoder. And the audio doesn't sound as good, but the video doesn't seem to have changed. So we'll see how it goes. I'm still going to run this all through my normal process anyways. Normal. I say as if I've been doing this for years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for those of you that don't know, this is my wife, Nona. I'm your special guest, your special host. I guess I'm a guest. No, I'm not a guest. No, you're a host. Just a host. Okay. You're very special. Yeah. Um, and on that note, we uh, also want to talk about some other special stuff today, like Special K. We didn't get to that point yet, so she still doesn't know what I'm talking about. We only made it through a couple couple things on our little checklist over here. And now we're not going to be able to get the same kind of reactions. So... Let's just burn one and two. Let's tell them what they missed. Okay. Okay. We talked about bacon. Mm-hmm. We talked about how bacon is the superior breakfast meat. And basically he admitted that he loves sausage all over his face and all inside no. of his body. No. But she's a vegan. She's a vegan until it comes to, to taking sausage in her mouth. Just to annoy <laughs> Justin Nether. No. I'm the original bacon father, so But you really love sausage. Find me on Twitter, the bacon father. I'm there sometimes. When Is I it have... just because you want other people to call you daddy? Nobody calls me daddy. You don't even call me daddy. So then why the bacon father? Because I have four kids. And I eat bacon. Should I change it to it the bacon husband? Like, sounds like you're implying that uh, your little children are bacons. No, not a cannibal. <laughs> are you sure about that? I'm good. I'm good on that. Um, and we talked about Kate Gate. Kate Gate. Kate Gate. Kate Middleton. Yes, you informed me of this. Yeah, we talked about how we don't know anything about the royal family and don't care about the royal family. Nope. As far as I'm concerned, they're figureheads. They're about as effective as Bernie Sanders <laughs> with more money. <laughs> um, they don't govern. They don't do anything. They're mm-hmm. just they just exist. Or, uh, Do you want to speculate as to whether she's alive or dead? Um, it's now the middle of March, and if, she was if last seen. If they're going out of their, Christmas. if they're going out of their way to Photoshop her, she's not dead. Just not doing well. Yeah, something's wrong with her, probably. But yeah, she's she's not dead. They're trying to save face from something. From something. Maybe she got mutilated or. Maybe she's been kidnapped and they don't want people to know. Mm. Or she left her husband. The scandal. Yeah, sure. We talked about the royal downgrade. 
Mm-hmm. Meghan Markle. I didn't even know existed. Meghan Markle and her husband got their bio shortened and reduced and knocked to the bottom of the royal family website because <laughs> apparently that's a thing and people care about that. Um, All because they moved to America. People are going to start looking and they're going to see that your bio on mobile is underneath mine. I don't even know what that is. My On, on our website. My bio? I don't have a bio. No, you don't. You have I'm one, just a mom. You have one line. You have one line. Yeah. But the shift happens on desktop. They're side by side. I'm left to your right. On tablet, they're still side by side. Okay. But then on mobile. Oh, so you're implying that I am beneath you. No, I'm just saying that these people might say something about it. Okay. These people. Visit our website. Take a look at it. It did actually launch. I invest entirely... Too much time yesterday fixing stuff and Sunday fixing stuff. Oh, I worked like 16 hours yesterday. I don't know, but it was the happiest I've seen you in a while. Whatever. I'm never happy. I'm always happy. I'm just never you look just happy. You said <laughs> that you're never happy. So that was on camera no, and no, no, recorded. No, 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 no. So no, because the question I in the will, episode. I will question, play it back forever and ever. The question in the episode was. Never happy. The question in the episode was, are you happy in the relationship, married, and yes. You just said that I'm you're always never happy. happy. I'm always happy. I just never look happy. Whatever you say. I have rusting Andrew face. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So we burned through that. Yeah, burn it. Burn it all down. Yeah. My next topic. What is it? Michigan. Of course. The team, the Michigan. team, the team. Because we have, we have not... We have, you have to say it three times. You have to. It's mandatory. Uh, why? Does the boogeyman come out if you don't? Because Bo Schembechler will haunt you if you don't. He's the greatest, one of the three greatest coaches of Michigan history. Okay, whatever you say. He's the traditional conservative, hard-ass coach, never really satisfied with anybody. Sounds exactly like you. No, I'm satisfied. <laughs> if you're not subscribed on video, you should do that. You could also tell us what you think we should put right here. We've considered trolling you guys, changing it out all the time. Um, I thought about virtual background, but nah. Nah. It'll, it'll never look good. It'll look like, okay. They're never going to watch this podcast, but Level 1 Text, that's what they do. They have a virtual background. You can always see the green outline, and it bothers me. <laughs> if I had more a more powerful PC and, like, an actual workstation-grade GPU, it would probably look better. Like, a fifteen dollars to $20,000 GPU. And NVIDIA H1 or A1... Like a data center GPU, but because I'm not ever going to have something like that, mm-hmm. unless NVIDIA wants to sponsor us, and they're never going to. <laughs> um, unless they want to, if they want to sponsor some up and comers because we're cheap, cheap like cheap to sponsor. So cheap. Yeah, cheap to sponsor. They could sponsor. What, what do you What do you constitute as cheap? Like, we'll let people start off with like five grand for a couple couple episodes, maybe a month. Okay. And we're talking about doing three episodes a week. So that's 20 episodes a month. Three okay. or four. Okay. Yeah. I already said okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Or if they just want to give us some upgrades. I can use some upgrades. <laughs> Most of my work is uh, in the cloud. So, and I need the power, but I also don't always need the power because I have it somewhere else. That's the real reason why we have to have the internet speeds that we have. That way I can work as if I'm working on the media locally, but realistically it's not here at all. Symmetrical fiber is awesome. If you don't have symmetrical fiber internet, you're missing out. But you probably also wouldn't know the difference if you're not uploading stuff all the time. It only really matters 
when you're doing things both directions. So what's the next on your list? We're still talking about Michigan. We never even started oh. talking about it. I thought that was the end. You had to say it national, three times. National champions. We haven't addressed this in an episode. It has been since 1997. I'll just let you take it away. 1997. Yeah. Nona has been my good luck charm. <laughs> we met in 2020. That was the COVID season. Everybody kind of canceled everything. And since that year, Michigan has won the Big Ten Championship every year. Michigan has, made the, welcome. Michigan has made the playoffs every year. And this year, they concluded a three-year run of making it to the playoffs by dominating Washington, beating Alabama in overtime, beating Ohio State for the third year in a row. Michigan has not lost to Ohio State in this decade. There's an automated clock on Twitter called the Michigan clock. Every day, all it does is tweet how many days it's been since Ohio State has beaten Michigan. And it's approaching like 1,700 days or 1,800 days, something like that. Is that a play on Penn State? No, it's just... I thought you told me that Penn State always says, like, it's been X amount of days no, or hours or no, whatever. There's, there's, stupid. Their stupid thing that they think people care about, for one, is them. Um, but they say, uh, they'll, they'll tell you the time. Let's say it's, it's 1221 and Michigan hasn't beaten Penn State in whatever, or Michigan still sucks or whatever. And we're like, okay, cool. Good job trying to make yourself relevant. I don't care about you, Jerry Sandusky. I don't at all. Okay. Penn State is like, okay, so Michigan State is little brother. Okay, so they're, that's like the Cash and Cooper dynamic, right? Penn State is the redheaded stepchild that nobody likes. Can you tell how much he hates redheads? No, that's a, it's a saying. No, you've also said some pretty terrible things about redheads in general. No, I've said some terrible things about gingers that are borderline albino. I love <laughs> how you specified it down. <clears throat> Because they are very... Say they suck the soul. <laughs> everyone knows that. I hadn't ever heard that in my entire life. Every, everyone has heard that. Everyone knows that saying. Terrible. Yeah. They have to consume souls to stay alive. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, anyways. So, anyways, it's a good thing you're not a father and didn't have a red-headed baby. Go blue. Go blue. Say it. Do I have to? Yeah. Go blue. See, she loves it. <laughs> Realistically, she's acting right now. She's one of the biggest sports fans I've ever met. Oh my God, he's full of shit. No, biggest full sports fan of ever. Shit. Biggest sports fan of all time. Full of shit. I have, you, if you guys have ever seen that old commercial from like, 05, 06, 07, there was an ESPN commercial where uh, the girl picks up the guy to go on a blind date and they're talking about animals and then they talk about where they go to school and the woman tells her that she went to Michigan, go blue, and the guy unbuckles his seatbelt while she's driving and jumps out of the car and rolls <laughs> down this hill and yells out, go Buckeyes, and she drives off and lets the door slam and says uh something along the lines of this only happens because of sports or something and then there's another one where um sorry um these two this couple is making out on the couch one of them is wearing an ohio state sweater and the other one's wearing a michigan sweater and it says it's only disgusting because of sports <laughs> and where were you going with that I don't know. I don't know either. Did you remember to take your medicine today? I did. Good job. Yep. This is the Living with Andrew's ADD podcast. Mm -hmm. Welcome to episode one. Mm -hmm. 
Just kidding. This is episode four. <laughs> He's wrong. She's <laughs> right. Um, so I've already had some uh, people asking if they can be on the show. Oh, yeah? Like, yeah. Hmm. Uh, well, Rick asked if he could. And he was like, I've got some opinions. And I was like, I'm sure you do. Opinions he, about what? But he's a Notre Dame fan, so we can't let that happen. <laughs> we, cannot, we cannot give Notre Dame a voice. Anyways. <laughs> Just kidding, Rick. You can come on sometime. Well, he's going to be here at 1.30. Yeah, but you've got to go pick up the kids at some point. Right, so you can do the next episode with him instead of me. That wouldn't be awkward or anything. Plus, he's going to be working. He's going to be in uniform. It's okay. Does he work? I don't, does he wear a uniform? I have no idea. I don't know. Rick, do you wear a uniform? We're not live right now, but <laughs> <laughs> if you want to comment after you watch this episode or listen to this episode, um, I'll know the answer, I guess, in about an hour. Yeah. But um, this episode will go up. What did I say? Today is Tuesday? I believe so. I'm thinking we do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Why that random of a schedule? It's not random. People are busy on Friday. People need to pick me up on Monday. And then Tuesday and Thursday are just kind of middling days. That means we can record for Monday on Friday. And then I don't have to be stressed about getting it out and rendered and edited. Because I'll have a couple days to fix it if it needs fixing. See? And then Monday we record Tuesday. Tuesday, we record Thursday. Okay, but also, just so you are aware, Monday is one of the most days off for children regarding teacher work days, We holidays. will work around that when it happens. You also are forgetting that summer is coming up, and we're going to have to figure... forgetting at we're all. We're going to have to figure out a way... You're forgetting. No, we're going to have to figure out a way to get around that this summer that's what thousands of dollars of summer camp pays for yeah that yeah that. that how can you possibly be poor you own a business um because it all goes to bills mm -hmm. and bills are stupid and speaking of and bills, taxation do you want to guess how much i just spent at costco based on what i saw 300 and Twenty nine dollars and sixty nine cents. You're pretty much spot on. That'll last us about four days. Yep. Well, um, yeah. Let's move on. Yeah. What's next? Does anybody year? else? Does anybody else have a ridiculous grocery bill? Do you have four kids and three dogs and two adults? Yes or no? Don't answer. Yes or no. <laughs> All right, next up, we're going to talk about your beloved Apple. Um, we've had this conversation before. There's nothing beloved about it. Okay, but you use their phones, and you're reluctant to switch to anything. That is correct. Despite the fact that you pretty much use all of Google services. Mm -hmm. So. So. The news last week is that Apple dropped their... Um, electric car endeavor canceled the project that they've been working on for like a decade. I know just, nothing about this. They just finally gave up. Um, can't hack it. Not good enough. Yeah. Tim Apple canceled the project. His name is Tim. His Apple. name is Tim Cook, but they call him Tim Apple. Okay. Yeah. I guess you can cook an apple. I don't know. Tim, Tim, the ringleader of Apple. Um, so that was canceled last week, and now there were talks that because Apple has been uh, producing their own uh, processors for, they started on the phones, they ditched Qualcomm and started uh, building processors in-house, and then they moved on to the MacBooks and everything like that. And now they're just kind of getting left in the dust again because they're not very good at it. All of the most recent, I think it's M3 they're up to, they're basically like minor incremental upgrades that are not even worthwhile. And then of course, charging the Apple premium for all of it. So then it gets better. What happened next? Google pays Apple like 
ridiculous, like seven billion dollars or something like that a year to be the default search engine on iPhones. Google pays Apple for that privilege. Okay. I've never known that. Considering Safari is what's that's your browser, right? But all of your search is powered by Google, okay. even if it's that. even if it's got a paint coat of Apple on top of it. So now they're in talks to use Google Gemini because they can't produce their own useful AI models. So ChatGPT and OpenAI kind of started this little flood where Microsoft tried to buy into it and their CEO left and went to Microsoft or was fired and went to Microsoft and then was rehired. And now Microsoft basically controls OpenAI's board and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really fucking matter this conversation. But Google had been working on this stuff forever and they have all of your information. They know everything because they know what you search. They know every, every website you visit. Every website uses Google Analytics. Google knows everything about everybody. And Apple is going to pay Google to use Gemini and kill Siri. And kill Siri? Yeah. How are they going to kill her? I don't know. Probably with a sword in her back or something. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Take her out back, shoot her in the back of the head. I don't know. What's that? What's that uh, astronaut meme where they're both floating in space and one astronaut's like, oh, something is going on. And then the other astronaut's got a gun to the back of his head and he's like, always has been. I have no idea. I've yeah. never seen that before. So it's going to be the, the first astronaut's going to be like Tim Apple staring at the earth. Siri sucks, doesn't it? And then Google's going to be standing behind him with a gun. Always has. How happy did this news make you? Um, I prefer that they struggle and lose first because I always love seeing when Apple and Microsoft and some of these other companies, they like try and get their foot in the door. What I think is actually going to happen though, because nothing is ever set in stone for more than a couple of years at this point in any technology sense. I think that it's a stopgap for Apple. That they're still working on something of their own. They just want it to work on their hardware. And right now, they can't do both. They know that Gemini can work on their hardware because they have a lightweight model that can literally just run on your phone natively without any sort of cloud connection or anything like that. Whether or not it's useful, I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, I think that they're just going to do it temporarily. And, of course, Google is going to say yes. Mm -hmm. But Google's stock, or Alphabet, Google's owner, went up 4% from it. And in those kind of company sizes, that's a lot of money. People, people like hearing news like that. People like hearing... Big company make line go up for other big company. <laughs> but what do you think? Do you have any, you've seen how after I switched it on my phone from the Google assistant to Gemini that sometimes it sucks and then the speakers are better and sometimes there's like conflicting stuff going on. And I've seen stuff on, um, uh, there's a, there's a thing for pixel owners and people are complaining. They're like, I used to be able to set an alarm with my voice and now it just searches an alarm on Google search. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like pulling up websites and apps and stuff. Like they'll be like, send an alarm for 5 p.m. And it's like, okay, here's search results for an alarm. <laughs> so is it actually better? I don't, I don't know. I don't understand how you could make it worse. They've had something that's worked forever. Not forever, but effectively forever. But I think there are certain people like me and certain people like you who may need that or not need that. I, I've personally never used AI to assist me in anything. Okay, but 
There are automations and things that you don't consider a part of that equation that do happen, like the alarms and the bedtime music and the announcements in the morning and doorbell notifications. It's all connected. They're all using the same servers and services. It's if just, you hadn't set any of that up, I wouldn't. You would have just been frustrated with trying to wake Cooper up every morning. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah, it's true. Anyways, what do you guys think about the different AI models? So the the theory um, from, uh, oh my God, what is their name? Carter, Gartner. They have like this, they call it the magic quadrant. It's like industry leaders and innovators and they rank everybody in these. It's like one of those, Um, you know, the, uh, like the, liberal versus conservative uh authoritarian versus um libertarian or whatever the mix of all that is and it's like where do you fall kind of on this chart it's kind of like that but for like who's leading the game and servers and who's 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 innovating and who's got the new technology and who's got the new hardware and things like that they predict that ai models are going to replace search engines as we know it in like three years like you won't go to you won't go to google search to turn up search results like you do now it'll be conversational like it is with gemini and ChatGPT. you will use something like that for everything so essentially you'll get summaries i feel really old in saying this but i'm not ready for change but you'll get summaries without actually having to open a website which is something that they that these like news agencies and stuff like that, they hate it because they get their ad, they get money from ad revenue. If you're not having to click through to their website, they don't want AI to summarize their information because then they can't profit off of generating the information. And we're just supposed to trust that the information they're providing. You can't, you can't trust what you can't trust these people gaming SEO results and, you know, paying to be the, you know, first ad result and stuff. There, there was a study that, so it's called above the fold. Anything that appears in your screen before you scroll is above the fold content. It's like something in the neighborhood of like 70% of people never even scroll in the search results. Not, not only do they not go to page two, they don't even scroll. So if you can appear as an ad paid placement, you're effectively going to win the game no matter where your website actually ranks. I believe that. And then for organic search, it's kind of just a shit show because you have people trying to game. I mean, I do it. Everybody does it. I'm just better at it than everybody else. <clears throat> I'm not going to give away my secrets either. Or unless, so you said. Unless you want to pay me. I am. I'm the best. I'm the very best. Okay. So, let's move on to where are we at? We're going to have to talk about some more stuff. That whole beginning of the episode nonsense cutting out kind of screwed us. We still have dropped zero frames. I'm doing something right, hopefully. (laughs) Hopefully. Watch the audio is going to be terrible. We're going to have to re-record the entire episode. Don't say that. If anybody has expertise in this, feel free to reach out. Um... I'm not using like a mixing board or anything like that right now. There, everything is an individual input. So there's three camera inputs. There, and I haven't switched the cameras at all in this episode. Um, I'm just gonna put the camera on you. Why? Just so that people can listen to me but watch you the entire time. Okay, there we go. Much better. Um, ADD moment. What was I saying? I don't know. What were you saying? Talking about the audio sucking. Oh, if somebody wants to if somebody wants to um give me some insights. Cause we need like we need a little stream deck or something, a little macro button so I can just push buttons and switch scenes and mute you when I don't want to I'm just kidding. <laughs> <coughs> um You wish you had a, a physical mute button for me, don't you? Yes. 
No, you don't. You love when I talk. You said you love my voice. I don't know why, but... Anywho. Um, yeah. We've got stuff to buy. Stuff that we need. Mm-hmm. One day. It's on a shopping list somewhere. Maybe. Or maybe it's just in my thousands of open tabs in Chrome. So what's next on your list? Uh, lighting. On the list that you wrote down. Oh. I'll get to that in a minute. I'm impatient. No, not allowed to be. Illegal. Right to jail. All right. You know how much I love space. Yes, I know. It's it's a pretty big deal. You know, for a while after the space shuttle and all those debacles, we were relying on Russia to get us a space station. And look, look what happened. We, we alleviated ourselves with SpaceX. Everybody cheered on Elon Musk. Elon, yeah. Getting us away from Russia. Yeah. And then Russia invaded Ukraine. And then people were like, yeah, Elon's doing good. And then initially Tesla as well. People loved it. Environmentally friendly, green. And then all the other manufacturers basically caught up in the space. In fact, Ford now can use Tesla superchargers. So you have the reliability of an existing major manufacturer and the infrastructure of the innovator. The charging capacity and speed still not like filling up a tank of gas, but their network is much more robust than the other ones. Meaning you, so... I've seen videos where people try and do a road trip in like two comparable vehicles, like, you know, like the Tesla Model X or Y or three or whichever one, like hatchback looking one. And then like the um, Ford Mustang Mach-E. And because effectively it's, it's kind of like gas versus diesel, but these days like every gas station has diesel, but effectively it's that it's, a minor difference, but they have a different charging adapter and one can use all of them and one can only use the one that it's dedicated to. And Tesla has ridiculously higher number of charging stations across the country than anybody else does. And now Ford vehicles can access those with an adapter. But these, they were doing road trips. They were going like from New York to like Florida and you'd have to go like way off the beaten path of the highway. Imagine, right, being on a road trip with me where Which is I, already terrible. Where I won't even get off an exit if it's if I can't just sweep in and sweep right back onto the highway. Mm-hmm. Imagine if you had to go four, five, ten, twenty miles off the highway just to be able to charge. And it's usually like Was an it a, going to like a dealership or something? No, like hotel parking lots mm-hmm. and like imagine being in like Kansas. Mm-hmm. Well, that already sounds terrible. How many charging stations do you think they have in Kansas? One. Probably. If if any of the seven population of Kansas wants to chime in, we could easily Google this stuff ourselves, you know. We could. We could literally just Google it, and I'm just not going to do it. I'm entirely too lazy to do it. Anyways, point of all that is, between... Tesla, SpaceX, the boring company, which, like, it's it's so punny, and nobody, like, cares. They care about the um, promotional products that they produce, like the Not a Flamethrower and things like that that sell out, like, instantly. But this company literally just drills tunnels under the ground. And then you have Neuralink, which is brain implants, um, computer processing implants, which somebody apparently can now control a computer mouse with their brain. What about Starlink? Starlink's a subsidiary of SpaceX, or I think it is, or was. Maybe it's spun off. And then you've got Solar City, which was a subsidiary of... Solar... City? Yeah, that was uh, what they what. Uh, Sounds like that terrible movie that you made me watch. <laughs> that 
That was an awesome movie. Just like the, the lobster was an awesome movie. Um, that was their brand that originally was making the solar roof tiles and things like that. And then it was just absorbed back into Tesla. So like you can get a Tesla solar roof and Tesla power wall. It's like their battery bank and inverters and hardware and stuff like that. Um, but maybe it's not, I don't know. The go my point of all this is that the government does not like Elon Musk anymore. Oh, yeah, why? School me. Because he seems to be right-leaning. He used to be more, I don't even know if he was ever like in the libertarian spectrum. I think he jumped right from more liberal right into, right, like, he like defends like Kanye West and Trump and... But at the same time, like everything that it, it's not even really like directly like everything about them is good. It's just like, hey, they have a good idea. And then immediately the liberal media and politicians, oh, Elon's a piece of shit. Why would he why would he support Trump? And all it's like, you know, Trump's just saying, Hey, um, maybe we shouldn't send money to Ukraine. And because he supported the person who said it, because it was a good idea, bad person. So they hate him. Uh, the FCC, the F FTC, they hate him too. Like all of his, his tweets are supposed to, be, I mean, he owns the company now, but at the time when it happened, um, they were essentially, they came out and said like he was like harming the shareholders or something like that because he would come out and tweet things that, oh, we're working on this or we have this project and it's going to lead to this. And the stock would either go up or down just based on a tweet. No paperwork, no anything, but he had a big enough following that um, they said that it had a financial impact. And so he was, he had to step down as CEO of Tesla because of it. He's effectively still the CEO he or the chairman of the board or something like that. One of the two, and he's still the other one, one way or the other. So he's effectively still in control of the company. It's just a formality. It's a slap on the wrist and a piece of paper. But now they're trying to ding him for pretty much everything. The whole Starlink system was, you know, heavily approved. The U.S. government wanted to be ahead of space wars. They wanted to have the connectivity. They wanted to have the ability to uh, spy, hopefully if FedEx doesn't, or UPS doesn't come knock on the door. Um, he didn't want any government to be able to weaponize it. Um, he said that he didn't want Ukraine or Russia or anybody to be able to use it like for war and everything like that. So he like locked them out and I think he's given them access back. I don't know. Can't keep up with all of it, but because he won't just bend the knee they are trying to make his life a living hell in every aspect. And now they've come back and they've revoked uh, his authorization to launch satellites into an orbit that's closer to Earth to make connection speeds even faster. And they're citing that it's too close to the orbit of the space station. Something that is space junk at this point is leaking oxygen and we're going to deorbit it in like seven years. They're just going to crash it back into the atmosphere and we're going to go all private for space stations. But they're saying that it's too close to it, potentially too close to it. How close do you think is too close to the space station? I can't even guess. Just think of a distance. How close would you think is too close? 500,000 miles. No, we're, the Earth is too close then. I'm... I'm I'm picking up by the way that you're saying it, that it's ridiculously far away. 10 meters. 10 meters? 10 meters. Okay, that's a lot closer. <laughs> but, but think about this. They're traveling at 27,000 miles per hour. Okay. Okay. Airplanes get closer than that and they fly slower than that. The satellites are more maneuverable than a plane. 
They have their own onboard thrusters and power and the ability to maneuver. So does the space station. But 10 meters is close, but like when you see like Crew Dragon docking with the space station, it Go away. <laughs> Are they going to or is it signature required? Signature required. Can you pause it? Yep. Sorry about that. Next time we'll disconnect the doorbell. <laughs> um Nona got fired by Lutter. Just kidding, that's not what happened. Thanks. You have to run with the jokes. You have to be fun. Be entertaining. Well, you know. No, I don't know. Because I'm fun and entertaining. I take everything that you say so seriously. So anyways, back to Elon and all this stuff. Um, it did kind of, it kind of got rocky when he uh, smoked on the Joe Rogan podcast a couple of years ago. How yeah. long ago was this? Before I met you? No, it was around the time. Um, but yeah, he just s smoked a joint on the podcast and then Department of Defense did a whole big investigation. And, you know, Air Force and Space Force and DO DOD and every like they had, they had to review your contracts and, oh my God, you can't do that. You know, getting in trouble for all of that. Okay, so. Would you? What I smoke weed with Joe Rogan? Sure, mm -hmm. of course. Joe Rogan is never going to invite me onto his podcast. But yeah. <laughs> so this is a official announcement to Joe Rogan to invite Andrew Lemax on. Okay, okay. Let me hold on a second. We'll go back to ESPN. Those commercials that we're talking about for a second. There used to be, and he might still do it. Obviously, I haven't watched ESPN other than College Game Day forever. They, there was this guy that would do these impersonations. He was awesome at them. He could impersonate like, look, he was a comedian, you know. He could impersonate like anybody. It's kind of like the episode of uh, Saturday Night Live. He, they were impersonating um, Stephen A. Smith. And he was like, it, it, two different guys that I'm talking about here, but two different. I'm trying to follow okay, okay, so okay. hard. I think it actually, it was the Saturday Night Live one. He's impersonating Stephen A. Smith and... Stephen A. likes to, when he talks about athletes and other famous people, he always has to premise whatever he's going to say with how much he loves them and he loves their family and how he just had dinner with them last week and basically acting like they're, you know, his long lost family, his best friend. He's known but them. But then he rips on the shard. No, 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 no. But he acts like his, what he has to say has more weight or bearing than like anybody else in the world. Okay. So the joke on Saturday Night Live, he was talking about LeBron. He was like, LeBron, in this moment or this game, you need to be the one with the ball. I know you're listening. You're hanging on every word. And the co-host is like, no, no, he's not. He doesn't care what you have to say. <laughs> he's like, they're, he's like, LeBron, I know you're looking at me. I talked to your cousin last week. She said that you didn't eat the pie. Just going all, like into all these weird details. And the guy's just sitting there like, no, no, it never happened. That's how I feel with you saying that this is an official call out to Elon. Like, yeah, no, he's, or not Elon. Uh, Joe, Joe Rogan, Rogan. Yeah. not Elon. Yeah. yeah, Joe, if you're listening, which we know, I will acknowledge that you're not. But if you are, um, yeah, sure, of course. I will come on. I know, I know a couple of people. I know a couple people that have been on your show. I don't know them very well, but I have their phone number, so I guess I know them. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah. Like I said, medium connected, least medium. known, something along those lines. I don't know. Um, so anyways, so the weed incident, okay? Mm -hmm. So he's all, he, everybody, now they all, the government hates him. 
He bought Twitter. They hate him even more because now they can't tweet their bullshit. Community notes has kind of gotten rid of that. Community notes. Um, it is a system in which anybody can leave a note with sources and citations that addresses a claim or statement or whatever made in a tweet. So if a government official comes out and says, inflation is down 7%, they can cite the Bureau of Labor and Statistics and whatever else and say, no, actually, in fact, it's not. You're lying through your teeth. Here's the link, here's the link, here's the link. You know, and then it's it's all anonymous and people vote on it. So there's a mixture of AI, there's a mixture of reputation. You have to have a certain score, uh, rating notes. So notes that you rate, that you rate. What's your rating? I don't know, like 10. Two? No, you have to have above five to write notes. I think that one's like 10. How many notes have you written? One, maybe. <laughs> what was it about? Um, I don't know, but we can pull it up. Do it right now. Okay. Who are you bashing in it? That's the real question. I wasn't bashing. You can't. It's because if you write a note that's voted as not helpful, it's like. Goes against your rating. Like two or three points. So it's twice as two or three times as many points in negative. So it really emphasizes like being objective, but people, people will go into community notes to leave a note that says that the post doesn't need a note. So now there's all this infighting in community notes and all of those get downvoted. So I don't even participate in any of that. I just vote on them. All right, let's see your community notes profile. My score currently is seven. Out of what? Out of infinity. You just have to have above a five to write notes. I've never. What's your note? I've got one about the Taliban, Taliban patrolling on rollerblades. Um, making fun of this weirdo that simps for uh, Biden and Kamala. Um. They're saying this guy said that Rob O'Neill was dead or something like that. And Rob O'Neill literally responded to the tweet and was like, um, that's news to me. I guess somebody should have told me that I was dead. It's the guy that killed bin Laden. Um, and then I community, community noted donut operator because he wanted access to community say? notes. Doesn't give you access to community notes, simply register here. Yeah. So, yeah. And I, I responded, Donut actually. Perspective Lake Woodpecker is your name. You don't pick it. Yes, it's randomly assigned. And now everybody knows. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a weird so, name. It's all of them are some bird, something, something. But yeah. Perceptive, not perspective. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't pick it at all. I think, I think. It gave you uh, like five to select from, I think, okay. if I remember. It's been like a year. I really... How does it make you feel when you write notes? I don't. You literally saw how many, and I think the one from Dona was like December, January. I don't know. I I responded like in the thread too, because that was like preempting other people who were trying to do other stuff. Like, don't give them access. I'm like, Elon doesn't directly give you access you just sign up that's all it takes review a couple notes if you rate stuff helpful then you'll earn points and you can write notes it's basically the gist of it but for the most part it is also like first to publish so like these people literally just live on twitter and follow that sounds exactly like you so how no. many points do you think you could earn before next monday Zero. With the amount of time you spend on Twitter a day. There's so much that goes into it. And I don't spend that much time on Twitter. I literally tweeted three times in the last 24 hours. I've never been on Twitter a day in my life. 
You act like Instagram and TikTok are any better. You interact with the video and I interact with text. Well, I'm not on anything. Ooh, but... Yeah, right now. You'll be one day. We'll see. Monday. Anyways, so now we get to talk about special boys and special K. That was all lead up to that. Special boys and special K. Well, just because that's, well, I guess maybe I didn't introduce the episode like that this time since we had to reshoot this episode. What is special boys? Nothing. Okay. I was just calling him special. So what happened? Please enlighten us. Um, he is recommending that shareholders get medic. Who is he? Elon. Okay. He says that he takes ketamine for his depression, and he's recommending to his shareholders <laughs> that they should all be prescribed ketamine. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. He uh, basically alluded to uh, the fact that he thinks that they would all be better off if they were microdosed on ketamine. <laughs> And not that our channel's even monetized yet because it's not, but stuff like this will probably eventually get us demonetized, so I'll have to watch closely. Yeah. Please be careful about the things that you say. Well, fortunately, we're still a baby channel, and I do mark that our content is not intended for people under 18 years old and that our content is not safe for work. So Safe for work. <laughs> yeah. Spotify, um, maybe it's overkill, I don't know, um, but Spotify is like, if there's any profanity or this or that, YouTube is kind of lenient on it in some aspects, but there's like the first 90 seconds, they don't want you to cuss at all. After that, they don't really care, but there are keywords like COVID. Ketamine is probably on that list. <laughs> um... That's actually why uh, Level 1 Text, that's the entire reason why they changed the name of their podcast, it used to be called Level 1 News. The word news was a word, maybe still is, because people will target specific keywords to rank higher, and at the beginning of COVID-19, everyone was bashing the news, so if you said the word news, okay, yeah, but they they basically just found that if they just stop saying that word, their line go up again. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's super weird censorship because the words in different contexts, you know, and then you get people that are like, oh, I've been shadow banned. No, you're just an idiot. What's sometimes, your favorite some, sometimes people just don't like your content. Sometimes they don't like you. Sometimes they don't like what you have to say. Yeah, Andrew. Sometimes they don't like you. Everyone loves me. This isn't a me problem. This is a they problem. <laughs> okay. Um, you should talk more. About what? All of it. This this whole episode has been a, a you episode. It's because you need to learn to interject and have conversation you can't just listen on a podcast see in the job of the host is to not allow dead air so you have to just keep talking and rambling and then hope that the other person catches the cue that they're supposed to be talking right now and she still doesn't talk as <laughs> i say that and plainly explain it to her but your favorite thing to do is ramble. No. And fill all of the voids with yourself. That's not true. That is your favorite thing. That's not true at all. You guys like how she looks at me, don't you? <laughs> Anyways, um, that was all of my list. That was your entire list. That was the entire list. That was everything off my list. We did speed run the first couple. Bacon is still the you best. You were so excited about your special K and you spent the least amount of seconds on it. 
happens. Are you apologizing what? for being brief? No. Okay. No. Not once, not never. <laughs> not once, not never. Not my chair, not my problem. That's what I say. <laughs> uh, I would like to thank our executive producer, The Ladder. <laughs> we did not plug anything in this episode. Screwed that up. Mm-hmm. Now's your chance. No. You're going to run through them all. They want to hear your voice. Run through what all? All of the sponsors that we don't have yet. So we have a sponsor here and a sponsor here. You're welcome to. <laughs> she didn't get what I was trying to say. <laughs> Visit lemaxmedia.com if you would like a new website, app development, any sort of AI integrations, or if uh, you just want to give me some money. I will gladly take your money off your hands for you. Um, you know, it's tax season right now. If you need to spend some money to get ahead of next year. 501c donation. Yeah, you can donate to our nonprofit, which our tax year ends in 12 days. So now is the perfect time to yeah. donate. Yeah. And then you can also donate again later. Um, you know, Giving Tuesday is in November. You can donate on 4th of July. You can donate on every of the service branches' birthdays. You can donate um, on any day that ends in Y. There you go. Uh, that is veteranwiki.org. If you would like to look at the wiki itself, wiki.veteranwiki.org. Uh, we are working on opening up the API so that you can request keys for the API and utilize the information from the wiki in your app, website, whatever you're building. Or if you just have malicious purposes, you can just go visit the website and scrape it. Um, we've got nonafelps.com where you can get insurance in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Florida. Um, or you can just go to the website and look at pictures of her. <laughs> Why do you keep encouraging people to do that? Because they will which increases traffic, which means we can retarget them with marketing campaigns in the future because I can build an audience based on people who think they're going to see your boobs. Actually, this is the first episode that you didn't grab them. No. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Stop looking. Um, we are everywhere that a podcast can be. We are also on he's wrong, she's right.com where you can find where we're at. You can also find all the episodes. You can watch the videos on our website if you want to. You can find all the links to all of our social media there. Uh, it's also in all the video and audio descriptions. And... That's it? Is that it? That is it. Remember, if you guys help us hit a 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, we will do a live stream. And he's going to wear a beautiful, beautiful dress. There you go. And we'll go to a public location. What? Yeah. That's news to me. Yeah. We'll no, go, I'm scared. We'll go set up somewhere. Maybe I can get Josh to like let us do it in the gun, st- the gun shop. That'd be cool. When was the last time you even spoke to him? Uh... Too long ago, obviously. I don't know. He's got all kinds of weird stuff. He's always talking about how he's going to do this and do that. And then I'm like, I just assume that he's done it. And then I run into him again. I'm like, hey, so did you ever do that? And he's like, no. Like he was supposed to, he was supposed to take his van and drive across the country. He was going to drive to Alaska. And then on his way back, he was going to stop in Wyoming and he was going to like work as like TNR officer or something in Wyoming. Go to like police academy or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Obviously, it never happened. He bought the van. I don't know if he still has it or not, but it's about, it's about as far as he made it, as far as I know. So, yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, um, check us out. Subscribe on everywhere, preferably YouTube Plus everywhere. And if we hit a thousand subscribers by. 
I don't even know what a reasonable number is because we're not running ads or doing anything else. We're doing all this organically right now. I don't know. If we hit it by April 1st, I'll just wear one of her bikinis. We won't hit it though, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> now everybody needs to. We won't hit it. I'm not even worried. You're not even worried. Nope. Oh, wow. Nope. Not even a little bit. Will your stuff even fit in my bottoms? I don't know. I'm Probably not. not. We're not gonna we're not gonna find out beforehand either. None of that. And I know you'll try me sneaky and try and get a picture. <laughs> You have anything you want to say to the audience? Please subscribe. I want to see him in this bikini. I want to see if it's even physically possible to happen. I just flex out of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways. Um, bye. <laughs>